Hey guys, Extrasify here. Welcome back to another gold making video. Now, recently I've been seeing some comments on my videos asking me about alternative ways of making gold. Now, obviously, a lot of my videos revolve around transmog farming and material farming, but some people don't like to bother much with the auction house and they just want some quick and easy raw gold methods. Now, this video will be highlighting some of my favorite ways of making a good amount of raw gold in World of Warcraft. Now quick disclaimer, raw gold farming is not going to be the number one most effective way of making gold, but if you're a passive gold maker, you just want some extra income, maybe for a WoW token or something like that, then these methods should definitely supply your gold amount quite a bit. All right, so first and foremost, if we go ahead and take a look at the map once everything loads, as you can see, the first thing I want to talk about are the Dragon Rider Racing. Now, these are all over the Dragon Isles. As you can see, there are currently nine of them up, and they each give the Dream Racers purse. Now, that is filled with gold and isle supplies, but as you can see, filled with gold is what we are after there. Now, currently, these bags contain anywhere from 500 to about 550 gold on average, and they're so super easy to do. So, as you can see, you just literally have to come up here and try the course. You don't have to do anything special, and you don't even have to get a good time. All you have to do is finish the course itself. Alright, so as we can see, uh, I took 50 seconds and the personal best is 46, but it does not matter because we got the purse, and if we go ahead and open it up, we got 530 gold just for literally taking 2 minutes to do a race. Now, every time the world quest reset, every few days or so, there will be about 8 of them on average, and with about 500 gold each, that's an easy 4,000 gold. Now on top of doing that, go ahead and pair that up with the next one, which are basically all of the world quests that give gold as a reward. Now a lot of these are super easy to do, and they give a quite a nice amount of gold. Most of them being anywhere from 600 to up to even a thousand plus gold. Now there are even more of those up, currently there are about 12 or so up, but Obviously that fluctuates as well, and when you do both the Dragonfly races and the random gold quest, world quests, you get an absolute ton of gold. Now doing all these world quests, I estimate, based on how I usually do it, if I am to target all of the Dragonflight races and the gold rewards, minus a few of these that give like 28 gold, obviously that's not really worth your time. But if you do all the ones that give a few hundred plus, you'll go ahead and you'll make probably around 10 to 15,000 in about an hour. Now, that is really, really good, especially if you have a bunch of alts. You can go ahead and do this on as many alts as possible. Now, the world quests reset every about two to three days, so make sure to keep checking on your map whenever it resets and go ahead and make a lot of gold. If you have a few alts and you do this pretty regularly, you can make almost a WoW token every single month just from doing this, as long with grinding for reputation, or renown I guess it's called, and just a bunch of great rewards. Back in the day, farming for raw gold used to be a lot more difficult, and World Quest did not give nearly as much raw gold as it currently does in Dragonflight in my opinion. You can actually make quite a bit of raw gold pretty regularly, and the more alts you have, the better. So, while I'm not a big raw gold fan, I prefer more conventional ways of farming for gold by farming for items to sell on the auction house. I do believe this is a great alternative, and if you're just wanting to farm some renown for your characters, this gives you a bunch of extra gold on the side. You're not really putting in any more work than regularly doing your world quests on your main or on your alts. So make sure to go ahead and target all of the gold rewards from the quests and from the dragon riding purses, and you'll be making a lot of extra gold every single week. 
All right, and then the second part of raw gold farming that I want to talk about will be old raid farming. Now, a couple that I really prefer are the Terrace of Endless Springs, which is right here in between the Veil of Eternal Blossoms and the Jade Forest. And also on the Isle of Thunder, we have the Isle of Thunder raid. Now I'm currently at zero copper on this character. I'm going to run Terrace of Endless Springs first on Mythic Difficulty. And we're going to see how much gold we get from vendoring all of the gear and from the raw gold itself. One minute down and we've already killed the first boss and the second boss is coming in now. One of the main annoyances with Terrace of Endless Springs is that there's quite a bit of roleplay that goes on and that delays it quite a bit especially with the third boss the puddle boss but one thing to know is that i am using bonus loot just because i have them for some extra gold so that will be factored in but it's not going to affect it too majorly as you can see this piece i got here vendors for five gold so it's not that big of a deal all right, so even with all of the annoying roleplay, we got raw gold of 262 gold before vendoring any of the gear that we got. So let's go ahead and vendor everything now and see what we end up with. So in about three and a half minutes, we got a total of 347 raw gold, which doesn't seem like much, but it's not bad for some easy gold that we just instantly got. Now another thing to note with this is that you can run this on normal, heroic, and mythic all back to back. So you can do one, then reset, change the difficulty, do the next, and rinse and repeat, and make probably a couple thousand gold in total. Alright, so we are on the Timeless Isle at the far right northern side. Obviously this is where Timeless Isles is. I'm going to run this as well on mythic difficulty with zero copper and we shall see how much gold we end up with at the end. When you're coming up to these gastropods make sure to kill them from range as they have as you can see this frenzy ability where they will kill and devour you basically instantly if they get within melee range so just make sure to kill them instantly and from a range if you have any spells that will do that. All right, so we have just finished our run of Throne of Thunder, and it took us just over 17 minutes. Not too bad at all. We finished with a raw gold total of 680 gold with 80 silver. Now let's go ahead and head to the vendor. All right, so let's go ahead and vendor now. So if we go ahead and click on everything. Oh, not too bad. So we actually ended with a total of 1105 gold in 17 minutes. That's really not bad at all. Now I'm going to go ahead and vendor these couple of transmogs just for the sake of the video, but these are actually not too bad of transmogs. So that puts us to 1108 gold. We also got 22 of these mode of harmonies. Now that would be another 200 gold if you were selling, selling that on the auction house. So we ended with about 1300 gold in total. That's actually really good for 17 minutes. And it's actually not too bad, but I do believe still that the Dragon Isles World Quest are just the better option. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. If you like this new style of content, talking about other ways of making gold, make sure to give this video a like and let me know if you have any other video suggestions in the comments below. I'd be happy to hear your guys' opinion. And with that being said, let me know if I missed any great raw gold methods for farming in World of Warcraft. These are just a few that came to mind that I do kind of these are just a few that came to mind pretty frequently that I do. These are just a couple of ways that came to mind that I frequently do in Dragonflight. But let me know if there are more. I'm sure I missed some. I'm not a huge raw gold aficionado, but I know some people, maybe more casual gold makers, love doing raw gold because they don't have to worry about posting, auctions, dealing with waiting for sales, anything like that. You just instantly get the gold. 
So with that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to check out my old, uh, make sure to check out my other gold making videos. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching. Good luck with your auction house sales, and I shall see you guys in the next gold making video.